Good afternoon. Welcome to Freehandly Made. I'm Denise Patterson. This is your Friday lunch break segment. I have to tell you about the amazing concert that I actually got to go to last night. Kim Tom Kim Kim. I don't know why I came on the brain. Chris Tomlin. It's Friday. I was up late. I'm tired. I get a free pass. <laughs> Anyway, Chris Tomlin came to Pensacola for his Worship in America tour with several artists who joined him. One of them was a female, and oh, y'all forgive me, I don't remember her name. She has gorgeous red curly hair. She's from the band Jesus Culture. Um, she was one of the singers, and there was a couple others that I didn't recognize their names, but I recognized their songs. I'm really super, super bad with names. It's, it's an ADHD thing. Um, I, I can remember a face because I'm a visual person, but more times than not, I can't remember a name. Anyway, so I went and I was a little nervous at first um, because one, I didn't pick the seats. My girlfriend from church picked the seats. She bought the tickets for us in advance and then we paid her back. And I knew the tickets were $60 and my husband was like, that is expensive, 60 bucks. But, and especially since we didn't know where the seats were but it was my birthday gift and my ticket was purchased way back in December so it's something we've been planning for a long time anyway my parents had sent me my birthday a, a birthday a present and it was it was a check I love checks for birthdays um, anyway and so that's what I did with my check I bought a concert ticket anyway so um, I went and I knew that uh, I talked to my therapist about it. I'm like, look, you know, I've had this planned and, and I wasn't going to go to the concert, but you know, I really love this, uh, Christian singer and I really want to go, but I don't think I can handle it. It's going to be packed with people and it's going to be lights everywhere and strobe lights and different smells and just loud, you name it. He's like, well, you can miss out and wish you went, or you can find a way to make yourself a little more comfortable so you can get through it and, and still enjoy it. I thought, well, huh, I didn't even think about that. So I planned as far as earbuds. Now, I needed earbuds anyway because at my church, they rock the little house and I say little house because our church is not big it's it's small and matter of fact the worship center looks like a Hershey kiss and um, I'll have to I'll have to post a picture on my page or on my website of the little Hershey kiss matter of fact I think I'll do a I'll do a blog about my church because I really love my church um, anyway it, but it does the worship building looks like the shape it's a, the shape of a Hershey kiss okay so you can and it's small but you know so we you know we've got full full band you know keyboard two keyboards actually guitarist a guy that plays the sax which i love the saxophone i love all of them tenor alto i love all of them bass um and then we have we even have um what else do we have we have choir and I know we have something else. I can't remember. I'll pay more attention next Sunday. <laughs> I feel really bad. I don't know what all the instruments we have are. That's horrible. I'm sorry, Heritage Baptist Church. Please forgive me. I'm not, not very observant sometimes. Um, but during worship service, you know, I usually do this. And I'll have my eyes shut. And I'll sway back and forth, back and forth. Or sometimes like this with my, like this, and I'll be tapping my foot. And, and I'm totally thinking about, trying to think on the words and not that my, my ears are hurting. And that's how I process it. So, um, and then sometimes I, I just, I can't handle it and I'll skip out in the worship part and I'll come in when the preaching stops. But I got tired of doing that because I feel like I'm missing out on so much when I have to do that. And so, um, Somebody 
I was on one of our group sites and um, I want to say it was the ADHD Ash um, Autism Ashburgers so on so on so on website um, sorry I don't have the name memorized but um, anyway the point is there's a lot of people on there there's parents there's people on the spectrum on there there's just all kinds of people there's um, parents who have children with Down syndrome on there you name it and so I had posted um, a question on there about you know sensory issues and um, for my son because we were having a challenge because he want he wants to go to the football games with mommy to see sissy do her drum major thing and when he sits there he likes to follow her it's so cute y'all it's so cute football season's coming up very soon and hopefully my daughter will be the drum major again and if she is and my son goes i'm totally going to videotape my son doing that with with my daughter in the background because it is the cutest thing ever and I know I'm biased because I'm the mom, but I'm telling you, it's super cute. It is so cute. Anyway, um, I had to figure out a way because he got tired of staying home with dad. Like every other person who has something going on, whether you're on the spectrum or you have ADHD or Down syndrome or whatever it is, you get tired of missing out, you know? You feel like life is going on without you. And he's a typical, I'm sorry, I'm out in the parking lot. He's a typical six-year-old. He doesn't want to miss out on the fun, you know. I'm going to roll that one window up, so hopefully it won't be as loud. He doesn't want to miss out on the fun, and I don't blame him. So, I asked about sensory issues, specifically um, hearing, um, being sensitive to loud noises. And someone suggested going on an Amazon site to look for noise reduction um, headphones and then another friend of mine had given me a site to kind of like an autism store but that auto the autism website store was way expensive like I could not afford what they wanted for their headphones so being thrifty which is not always good in case you didn't know and in my defense it was my husband's idea I'm gonna throw him under the bus um, bless his heart he was just trying to be helpful and I went for it because the price was right <laughs> but they have these little kid head uh, noise reduction headphones for hunting I know anyway they would have worked except they're too tight on your head and and for no for an NT person or kid that probably wouldn't bother them in the least bit but we're talking about a child that can't even keep a hat on for so long because he doesn't like anything on his head he doesn't like anything touching his ears you name it so those didn't work and I don't know where they went they're in the house somewhere but we got rid of those or we stopped using them because it just it wasn't working I, he wear them only for so long and then he just he couldn't take it anymore so um, so I went back on Amazon and I found some I can't remember the name of them um, I will pull them out I think the name of them are actually on the outside of one of the headphone ear sections so I'll uh, I'll see and if if I see them I'll look them back up and and um, I'll tell you what the the brand name is so anyway they had blue ones now I think I told y'all my son is obsessed with the color blue so I knew if I showed him look I got these special ear reduction headphones specially made for kids in blue will you try them he would simply because they're blue <laughs> and it worked <laughs> and these 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 um, headphones are awesome because they're very cushiony on the inside and they don't squeeze your head and they're very adjustable so they're perfect and he got to go to I think like three of the last home games up through halftime um, and then I had to have dad take him home because it was just it was a school night and it was just too late for him to stay up because usually we don't get home till like 11 o'clock at night after a home game on a Friday night and 
Zayden doesn't do well if he doesn't get enough sleep. So, um, but yeah, he got through three different games and we literally sat right next to the band. And when I say band, our band at my daughter's high school has over 200 students playing in it. Kid you not. For real. <laughs> and so my son's got these nice headphones on and I'm there sitting there suffering through it. <laughs> With my cowbell. I'm like, my ears are going to hurt. I might as well just participate. <laughs> anyway, so, um, and I, I think, I want to say they were 20 bucks. Anyway, so I finally found some for me. I found some earbuds for me. And I got lucky. I got mine on sale for $18. And they're called um, Eargasm is the name of the company. And... I wear them at night too to bed. I really do. They are they are they are that comfortable. I'm seeing if I can find them because I had them in my purse from the concert last night. I got a funny story to tell you about that. So <laughs> great earphones. So I brought them. I was prepared, right? So I get to the concert. <laughs> get I get there early and I'm like, oh, I'll do a little a little snip bit on YouTube. And I'll let them know how prepared I am and what my what my master plan is to get through this concert and still enjoy it. All right, so um, these are Eargasm earplugs. Let's see if I can. I don't know if you can see that. No, it's blurry and it's backwards. Isn't that special? Eargasm earplugs. Go on YouTube, type that in. It'll pull right up. They have different sizes. Anyway, this is them right here. You can see them. Um, and it's nice. It's silicone. Very smushy. And um, when these get old, um, they're replaceable. So you're not having to spend 20 bucks every time you want to replace, replace them. And Amazon does sell the replaceables, which is nice. Anyway, so I'm on YouTube trying to record myself, showing you guys these, and everything's going well. And I stop record and I go to upload it and I put my earplugs on the dashboard. I forget that I've put them on the dashboard. <laughs> and I have gone into the concert with my friends. <laughs> we get to the seat. And I start looking for my earplugs. I'm like, oh no, my earplugs, they're in the car. And my girlfriend, Tanya, was like, you brought them to bring in here. I said, I know, I took them out of my purse to make sure that they were okay and whatnot. And I was showing, I was doing one of my clips and I was showing them what they look like and I put them on my dashboard and I forgot about, I forgot to put them back in my purse. Well, they won't let you, they won't, wouldn't let you leave the concert and come back in. No re-entry. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, well, it's, it'll be, it's whatever. I'll, I'll be fine. I'll just, I'll just, I don't know. I'll figure it out. <laughs> so, and at this point I'm really frustrated with myself, but you know, I was able to laugh it off, you know. Anyway, so we went up to the second floor of the Bay Center and we got something really quick to eat. Got me my t-shirt of the concert. It says Amazing Grace. Love it. Um, and it's got purple on it. So you know it was a winner right there. Um, and we went back downstairs. And when the concert started, the first thing they did was they popped up with this big, huge, huge screen. And all of a sudden, this flash of white bright light just went through the whole auditorium and literally within seconds I put my head down and covered my eyes and I was like that was painful and um, my girlfriend was like are you alright I'm like yeah I I'm fine and I was fumbling in my purse trying to find my glasses <laughs> Now this is an indoor concert you guys so you just gotta vision this and most of you that are on the spectrum will so appreciate this <laughs> So I find my my favorite pair of sunglasses 
and I put them on. I am the only person out of thousands of people that are wearing sunglasses inside this building. But it worked. It worked. I was able to watch that whole concert without wanting to poke my eyes out. So hey. Now my ears on the other hand of the hand, there were several, several times when I was doing this. Um, I did have a really hard time with that. But I tried not to... Um, I tried to not let it ruin my night um, and I handled it pretty well for the most part but when I got home I had to take 4 ibuprofen like stat because I had the worst headache um, and I know it's because it was just too loud in there and then um, I had to take some time before I went straight to bed I couldn't just go straight to bed and go to sleep because you know my I was just on sensory overload from all the noise and and whatnot now as far as the people go as far as crowded go how crowded it was my girlfriend did an awesome job at pick, picking seats she picked a row that was um, against the side of the skating rink wall um, and they had camera equipment and everything set up over there and then it only had six seats so there was four of us and the other two seats um, were towards the wall so I had plenty of room I was not crowded I didn't feel like a sardine in a sardine can or I could move it was it was wonderful and then on our way out it was so cool it was like God just put this bubble around me because I didn't have a whole lot of people around me at all on my way out of the concert. And you all know it's like cattle, right? When people get ready to leave a concert. I did not, I promise you, I did not have anyone around me in my bubble the whole way out the door. It was, God is so good. It was amazing. It was like, he was just like, nope, we're just gonna help you on out. No one's allowed to come in this area. <laughs> It was great. So all in all, I really enjoyed myself and I'm glad I went and I will always take a pair of sunglasses with me. And next time I will make sure that I have my earbuds because these suckers are wonderful. They get me through Sunday mornings during worship service so I can enjoy worship service and be okay. Um, and then, you know, they get me through the night because my lovely groom is a snorer. He, he snores. He, he shakes the walls when he snores. And so this gets me through that um, on the nights that I actually remember to wear them. And um, they're just really good to carry with you no matter what because if you're in a situation and there's a lot of noise and you're one of those like me that you can't, you can't handle all the noise, it, it rattles your brain and it gets you irritated really easy. Um, Man, I'm telling you, these things are lifesavers. They actually really work. I, I also, and y'all don't laugh at me. <laughs> I also use them during Sunday school. <laughs> I help teach our little three, four, and five-year-olds, and I love them. They are so precious. They are precious, but they're loud. And it's, it's not just the volume of loud. It's the tone and the frequency of of the voice <laughs> the high-pitched voices and so I do use these on Sunday mornings I don't leave home without them <laughs> and but it does help it really does so if you do not have a pair of these and you have sensory issues with noise like I do it is so worth the money um, and they last a long time. You want to, you know, you want to wipe them off every time after you use them. And um, don't push too hard on them. To, don't get them too far in. You don't want to push too hard because it can compact wax in your ears and cause some complications. You just put them in until you feel a seal and then you're done. You're good. Anyway, so the concert went really well. And I just want to say that... Um, it's not like I'm gonna start going to concerts all the time because there's just no way um, I, I couldn't handle that but I had plenty of time to prepare myself for this one and I was with people that I trusted so that helped and I know definitely one of them knows my condition I don't know if the other two 
know that I'm that I'm on the spectrum but one of them definitely knows that I'm on the spectrum and so um, it helped because I felt you know safer than I would have been if I just went with whoever you know what I mean um, and it makes me happy to know that I have found a way where I can be pretty much comfortable. I'm, I'm not going to say I was comfortable the whole time I was there, um, but for the most part I was, and I got to enjoy it, and I, di I didn't feel left out because I got to go, and I, I hardly ever go anywhere or do anything because I can't stand crowds. I hate crowds. I cannot, it's all the conversations happening at the same time and whatnot. It just drives me nuts. Um, so, I miss out on a lot because of that. I do. And I know there's some of you out there that also miss out on a lot. But, I just want to encourage you with a little bit of preparation. Oh, and I had an, ex an exit plan. If I felt myself getting ready to melt down or getting really antsy or my anxiety started to come up, I already knew what I was going to do. I knew where I was going to walk. I knew which hall, which door I was going to head for. And I already knew that I was going to go in the bathroom or, or out in the lobby area and just stand out there for a while to get some air. So if you're going to go to an event or you want to go to an event, just plan it. Plan, know where you're going, know how it's set up, plan an exit strategy in case you have to get the heck out of Dodge. <laughs> and if you have sensory issues, like I do, then find ways to ease those issues according to where you're going. So if it's a concert, you already know there's going to be strobe lights. Thankfully, there was no smog or smoke machine, thankfully. So I didn't have to worry about that, but just, you know, know where you're going. Um, if it's a, something that's really super crowded and you know that you don't like crowds, then have your seats picked really carefully so that you can literally strategize a bubble for yourself. So you have room. I always try and pick an aisle seat or, um, I'll pick an aisle that doesn't have hardly any seats so that if there's only if there's only three seats and I'm, I've got two people with me, I'm guaranteed space because there's only one seat left. You know, that kind of stuff. You just need to plan. If you don't know about the area that you're going to be going to, find out, you know. Um, I just encourage you because I know for me, my depression gets really bad when I isolate too much and I don't, I don't um, socialize enough. Um, I already feel disconnected from the world, so missing an event just makes that feeling worse. And I actually got to feel like, even though I know I'm different, and I'm definitely visually different um, than a lot of other people, um, according to how they react to concerts and stuff, but I had fun, and I got to share in the experience in my own way. And at the end of the day, folks, that's all that matters. How somebody else is looking at you don't matter. It don't matter. Um, so I just want to encourage you to to get outside your comfort zone a little bit with a little bit of planning, and trust in the Lord and trust that He knows what you need, and verbally tell the Lord what you need, and um, just trust that He's going to work things out. You know. Anyway, that is your lunch special for today. I want to give a shout out to a very new special friend of mine, Julian. He is my very first featured creative writer. I have posted two of his poems on my website so far. Please go check them out. They are wonderful. I love them. And you can find them on my blog, which is freehandly.made. It's through WordPress. Um, you can look it up. It, I've got the link on my um, Facebook blog. And I also have it on several of the group um, pages that you may be um, members of. And I will also um, list the website, if I can, um, in the description of my YouTube channel, um, if I can find room. They only give you so many characters. so. 
Um, if not, I will put a comment of where the web page is so that you can check Julian's poems out. They're wonderful. They're very inspiring and they give a lot of hope and encouragement. So you have the, a good rest of your Friday. And if you're working like me and you have to go back to work because your lunch break is over, have a good rest of your work day. Enjoy the weekend. Um, this weekend is my daughter's prom junior in high school and it's her, it's her, it's her prom. So I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get on here this week or not. We'll see. So if not, I will see you next week. Be blessed. Bye now.